Welcome to Big Data Management 10.2.1. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate BDM's capabilities to integrate with Azure Ecosystem. Let's take a quick look at the reference architecture first. As you can see in this slide here, most of our customers had the data either on corporate data centers, which are on-premise, or on the cloud ecosystems. They use several Informatica products like Big Data Management or Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services to ingest this data into Azure's ecosystem. They can ingest this data into Blob or ADLS. Once the data is ingested, Big Data Management can be used to discover, profile, parse, prepare, and several other transformations, whether they are data integration, data quality, masking, or any of the broad variety of functionality that we offer. Once the data is processed, it's typically loaded into Azure Data Warehouse. During the processing, we leverage the compute power of HD Insight Hadoop cluster. Now in this demo, I'm going to show you a slight variation of this reference architecture. To show all the capabilities that we have, I'm going to have a Azure SQL DB act as my source. I'm going to have BDM mappings two of them. One is going to ingest the data from Azure SQL DB into VASP and another mapping ingesting this into Azure ADLS. Once the data is ingested into both of these, I'm going to have another mapping that's going to read both of this data, one in VASP and one in ADLS, join them and write them to Azure Data Warehouse by leveraging HD Insights Compute Power. And then I'm also going to show you the capabilities that we have for auto deployment, processing, as well as auto scale. Let's get to a live demo. This is the Informatica developer interface that our developers use to build mappings. And before I walk you through on this uh, mappings, I'm going to quickly switch over here to show you the source data that I have. As you can see here, I have two tables in my Azure SQL DB. One is the artist table with a bunch of columns in here. And then I have another table called line items, which has another additional columns. My end goal is to get all of this data into Azure Data Warehouse, where I have a joint set of columns coming from orders as well as from the line items. Now let's switch to Informatica Developer. This is a mapping in Informatica Developer. As you can see on the left-hand side in my Object Explorer, I already have connections created and pre-configured for me. Connections in Informatica basically have references to endpoints. So I have a Azure SQL DB connection from where I have imported the line items table and the orders table that I want to interact with. Then I have imported the ADLS object for line items and the blob object for orders. In this first mapping, I'm ingesting the data from Azure SQL DB to blob. As you can see here, I have this data object, which is the Azure SQL DB and I'm reading the data from the artist table, doing certain transformations and writing them as an Avro file into my Azure blob. Now this mapping itself is executing in Spark execution mode and I'm executing it on the Azure HD Insight cluster that is pre-configured for me. Similarly, I have another mapping where I'm reading the data from the line items table in Azure SQL DB, applying certain transformations which are going to execute in the Spark execution mode on the Azure HD Insight cluster, and then write to ADLS. In my third mapping, I have the data from Blob being read, which is in Avro format, and the data from ADLS, which is in a CSV format, join them, apply certain transformations, if I will, and then write them to Azure Data Warehouse. Now this entire mapping is also executing in Spark execution mode on the Azure HD Insight. Now all I have to do is that I have to right click and then hit run mapping and it's going to use the connection that I have pre-configured here for the Azure HD Insight and run these jobs in Spark execution mode. You, we could always monitor this from the Informatica Administrator console by going into the monitoring tab where my mappings will be showed and I can see the Spark execution plan and so on and so forth. Now let's take a quick look at the data that got ingested into the blob storage. So here you can see that I have a container, user00, wherein the Avro file got created. And similarly in the ADLS, I have artist.csv, which is a delimited file that got created. Now these two files or storages have been created by the first two mappings. 
and the third mapping has loaded the data into my Azure Data Warehouse, which is this final table that I have. Now I'm going to go forward and then execute all these three mappings as part of a Informatica workflow. So as you can see in the workflow that I have here, I have the SQL DB2 plot, SQL DB2 ADLS, and joining these two and writing into the Azure Data Warehouse. But what you would also notice here is I have a new task here called create cluster task. In this case, I have configured it to create a cluster on the HD inside. So I have set the connection type to HD inside and provided a connection name with my order deployment parameters. Now what I also do is I can configure the number of worker nodes that I need, the head nodes that I need, and so on and so forth. I can also configure the Azure HD Insight version, the location where I want it to be spinned up and so on. By configuring this create cluster task, I'm basically asking all jobs in my Informatica workflow to leverage the cluster that I just created. And it's very simple to do that configuration. So if I go into my mapping, all I have to do is I have to tell my mapping to use auto deploy. The mapping is smart enough now to figure out the create cluster task that I have inside the workflow and leverage the cluster that got created by this specific task. After all of my computation is complete in the newly spinned up HD inset cluster, I'm asking my workflow to delete the cluster that just got created. And you can see that this delete cluster task is associated with the create task so that the delete task knows which cluster to be exactly deleted. And this is how I can create a Informatica BDM workflow that can spin up a HD insert cluster, read from SQL DB, ingest into Blob or ADLS, read the data from Blob or ADLS, and then finally write to Azure Data Warehouse, and then shut down the cluster at the end of my processing. As a quick summary, Informatica BDM supports Spark execution engine on Azure HD Insight, along with auto deployment and auto scaling capabilities, and has a wide range of connectivity available on the entire Azure ecosystem. Thank you for watching this video.